Hello, lazy people, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. On the last episode, we made it to this glorious town called Riften. On today's episode, we're going to go around talking to some people and see what's up. Starting with this guy. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Um, just passing through. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Well, excuse me. Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Okay. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Obviously. Dirt, huh? I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, tell know anything about the Thieves Guild? You're kidding. My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Alright. Um, any news involving the Dark Brotherhood? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Interesting. Alright. Be seeing you around. Ooh, hello you two. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. You seem lovely to talk to. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you. <laughs> you, you work at the stables? Yes. Hoff Greer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. Interesting. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. What kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Uh, tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Oof, uh, I'll help you pay off your debt. Hello? Oh, thank you. Sure, but we're not doing that Be now. with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of Oh, yeah? Hello. Oh, you're Brynjolf. Honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? What? <laughs> I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. What? Uh, how could you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Mm. Now, you what tell is going on with that guy? And we'll get started. Alright, um, not yet. I want to talk to this guy. Just give the word. Look at this guy. Hey. Working at the Rifton Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. 
Oh, okay. You got rid of all your. If you're looking for hello, out, come to see Balaman to perform us. miracles with steel, eh? Company, I suppose I could. You so seem quite proud of your way. Work. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get some for you. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Uh... Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. Can I take these? I can't even, I can't even take these. Okay, All right, I'm ready. ready. To make some coin. Sure, let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. All right. Steal Medesi. Who's Medesi? Visiting Rifton? Is this Medesi? Oh yeah, there he is. You need to hear this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of quick save. It's locked for a reason. Fuck you, go away. This is difficult. You need to hear this. No. Who's looking at me? Gather round all. Come on, pretty old. What is it this time? Alright, we'll make another quick save right here. Boom. Alright. Now, we gotta figure out where it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it was right there. Uh, Medesi satchel, gold, market key, and necklace. Oh, that's not even the thing I was meaning to steal from. Alright, what about this strong box now? Oh, right there. Bang! Garnet, gold, jeweled, silver net ring. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Balma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legend. Get away from me. No! <laughs> Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that then? No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection, but I can promise you that the contents are genuine. Oh, One come on. Sip of the elixir and Quick save again. All right, here we go. Uh, apparel. Um, we're just gonna. Filthy pickpocket. Dang it! Whoops! <laughs> I'll just load the save. Cost. All right, once again. God, that just proves how, um, how much of um luck I have. It was at eighty-four percent, and of course I got it. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, looks like I chose the right person for the job. Yeah. There you go. Your payment, just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on? Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Sure. All right. So that's for the Thieves' Guild. Hey, Medesi. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Do you make your own jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. 
Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd... Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, I hear someone getting arrested. Items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires. We can do this one of two ways. Of you can walk with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. I help you? But I. Is Very it well. True that you refuse to sell one of your trinkets to Henry? Please, my lady. It was only because he threatened me. He said he'd have me thrown in the prison if I didn't give him what he wanted. I can't afford to just give my jewelry away. Next time a Blackbriar asks for something, I suggest you respond quickly and affirmatively. <laughs> what? Hey, you seem cool. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Your name carries weight in Riften. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Gross. If anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. All right, all right, Maven. My way. Okay, Maven. Let's disappear. Mestfield Keep. Hey, how you doing? What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor and such power? Oh, hello. Where are you? Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation okay. with travelers. Can we not be this close? You seem to dislike Every visitors. Every day the threat of exile from Riften draws closer for myself and my family. Who knows how many spies the Empire has sent into our midst already. We're at war. This isn't the time for hospitality. Thank goodness Mother is keeping a level head about everything. If my brother Sailand had his way, we'd be flying Imperial colors by now. Uh, you and your brother don't see eye to eye? I believe that fool had the audacity to speak of his love for the Empire in the plaza. He expects us to drop our defenses and greet them with open arms. To dialogue with them rather than defend our homeland by spilling their blood. He's oh. a traitor, plain and simple. Had I been sitting on the throne, he'd be hanging from the gallows for his sympathies toward the Empire. Oh! Only a dagger for the son of the Earl? If you must know... I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most... Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do hurry, please. All right, let's go do that. It seems pretty easy. Just go pick up this object for this guy. Why does a satchel require a key? Interest. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. Wait, where's the black? There he is. I forgot I'm on the wrong quest. I'm on this quest. But I'm gonna do this. Come to see Balaman perform miracles. I'm here to pick up Harold's sword. Good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> Ooh. Where can I find I fire salt? Antronach's body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Interesting. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now time to go talk to Harold again. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Or so they'd have to be. Hello. Here's the sword. Your sweet time getting it to me. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you go. For your trouble. A garnet a ruby. Okay. Uh, until next time. I guess that's good, I guess. I could sell the garnet. Right. Or fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Yeah, yeah, that's what you all say. Into the keep. Alrighty. 
information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla. Hello, Jarl. Welcome to Riften, traveler. What's I hope your the road fared well for you. Oh, don't look at me like that with your eyes. What's well, your I stance feel on the war? This cause is just. My concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. What of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. What about the White Gold... The White Gold Concordat? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence. Uh, that okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This city has been rid of them all. Oh, are you a Thalmor? Who are you? As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Hey, take it you protect her? Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Yar's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with Spy. At the uh -huh. end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Okay. I'm Good keeping my eye on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? I can feel you laughing behind my back. Why would I ridicule you? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. What sort of lies? Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the... He's begun a rebellion... His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. Okay. He holds in his heart Bye. Get stuck on a table. All right, back outside. All right. Let's keep going. Ouch. Is there no like tavern here to talk to people? What is this? Temple of Mara. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. Yes. Which of the eight divines do you serve? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denyo Balu or Mara. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello. Mara bid what is it you seek? We are devoted to the god. Her blessings are many. Uh -huh. May I receive it? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. Huh? <laughs> to receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared then to help bring the light across this land? Sure. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has. The village of Iverstead. The woman? 
fast read. This is the prayer heard. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay, lady. The book of love, eh? Alright. Talk to Fastred. Nope. Are welcome at the temple of Mara. Please to meet you. Ah, uh, you followed me outside. <laughs> Why you do that? No oh, wait, there's a beggar. I want to talk to the beggar. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Oh, thank you. Divine yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. The B and Barb, eh? Let's go check it out. All right. Hello, everyone. A fellow Argonian. Welcome to the B and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. How'd you meet Kurova? I, I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Aww. In Lightmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Um, I can help you though, find I those. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. Of I course! You. We're if fellow Argonians! Me, I have other things to attend to. You seem interesting to talk to. Blessings of Mara upon you. I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Oh, God. Mara is the goddess of love. Uh huh. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all yeah. the loving couples in Skyrim. Do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need sure. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. You can tell me about Mara's belief. Encompasses the emotions we strive the most. Yeah. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these mm -hmm. dark times. But you should. I could have a wedding. If you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? I might. Why don't you Typically mind me? love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. No. <laughs> May you return to her benevolence and safety. That's... if it was only that easy in real life. Is that Brynjolf? Oh yeah, Brynjolf. Who are you? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Uh, isn't he in jail? Ah, well... I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Sure. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. Sure. I'll pay for your time. Okay. I'll meet you outside of town. Hello? You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? What'd you sell it? Nothing but the best. Black Briar. Best of all, you don't have to pay the ridiculous prices Maven charges. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and keep it quiet. This stuff isn't exactly easy to get a hold of at these prices. If you catch me drift. Sure. The best meat in do you work for the meadery? How do you think I get my hands on the good stuff and offer it so cheap? You think old May? Who <laughs> thinks you make so much money? Makes it easier for merchandise like this to fall through the cracks. Hello. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, Whoa. hit the road. Uh, sorry. What's the word around town? Riften's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. What's the word? Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? What's the word? <laughs> Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. I'm looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came back. Mjol the Lion is used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. 
if it's true that the dragons have returned, I, uh, what there's, will it mean for all there's us? nothing now, else. This is how it all ends. If this is about the metery. We can see talk us later. Hmm. Tell me about Maven. Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. She's all. I'd also warn you not to cross her. She okay. She quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Um, I think what we're gonna do next episode is we're gonna do this one. Promise to keep. That seems pretty cool. Speak to Sibby, and he's in the jail. So we can do that. My message to Sibby. Anyway, I gave you a long episode because there wasn't really nothing we were doing. We were just walking around town, talking to people, exploring, all that good stuff. Anyway, lazy people, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all later. Yeah.